Aloha, my name is Manaya Leotawa. Welcome to Hawaii's Best. Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii's Best. Here, you'll learn what to know before traveling as we discover Hawaiian culture, local businesses, and the experiences that make Hawaii one of the most incredible places in the world. And now, your host, Brian Murphy. Aloha and welcome to episode 84 of Hawaii's Best. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a very special episode. I'm really excited for this one because this is something close to where I live in Southern California. And living in SoCal, it's sometimes it's hard to find some good island food. And I've accidentally found it. And it's only a few miles from my house. North Shore Plate Lunch is in the city of Norco, California, also known as Horsetown, USA. And this is really cool. I love stories about local businesses and especially Hawaiian owned local businesses. And I really wanted to share their story with you. So a few weeks ago, we got together on a Saturday morning and talked story about how North Shore Plate Lunch came to happen. You gotta check these guys out. Los Angeles is our third most downloaded city behind Honolulu and Tokyo. We got to do something about our Japan audience because Tokyo is just behind Honolulu as far as downloads for this podcast. So if you are from Japan, I would love to hear from you. Reach out to me and I love to see how we can work together and bring Hawaii's best to be more accessible in Japan. But anyways, you're in Southern California, you're in the Los Angeles area, or even the San Diego area. It's kind of in the middle, Norco. It's kind of where the 91 and 15 meet, just uh, northwest of that area. And if you ever want to be transported back to the North Shore of Oahu, you got to check these guys out. To find all the info and all the details talked within this episode, you can go to Hawaii's best travel.com slash episode 84. That's eight four. All right. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's talk story with the team over at North Shore Plate Lunch in Norco, California on Hawaii's Best. All right, North Shore Plate Lunch. We are in beautiful Norco, California, <laughs> which is cool. We're like on location. And this is the very first time that we've done an on location in Southern California on the West Coast, not on the island. So oh. before we even get into how this started and why it started and why Norco and, and all that, let's just go around. We have just your name and, and a little bit about what you do here at this restaurant. Hi, good morning. Damon Leotawa. I'm uh, one of the owners here. Don't have a specific job, I would imagine, but but we do a ton of bunch of stuff behind the stage, back backstage, and whatever needs to be done. That's what I do. So awesome. Dwayne Anderson. We're both first cousins. So we come from the same family. And I, I am one of the owners as well. And I handle the uh, recipe creation stuff oh, like that. So. Okay. How's it everybody? This is Sherelle. I'm the manager here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you walk in, we usually see your face, yeah? I'm here, yes. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. Let's start with how this all started. Talk a little bit about the history, how the uh, restaurant came to happen. Dwayne, let's start with you, man. This is our first restaurant. Actually, with a little bit of history. We were a catering company as of 2015. We mainly focused on a lot of the island festivals throughout the Southwest, and, and we we always had the dream of opening up the restaurant. When we started the catering, the ultimate goal was to uh, have a brick and mortar one day. Oh, okay. So while we were doing the catering, we were doing well on the side. We were doing a, a lot of festival activity. Once the COVID hit, it, then all that festival activity just right. dried up and went away. So for a couple of years, we laid dormant. And as we got older, my partner and I, my cousin, we started to think more about either we're going to pull the trigger on this or we're not. Yeah. So in May of 2022, which was last year, we were over there in Hawaii. We had went back to go lay to rest the ashes of my uncle, who is my mom's brother, his mm, father. My dad. Um, okay. 
in Laie, Hawaii, at the cemetery over there next to my mother and my father and my, you know, many other family members, my nephews and them were all buried in the same area. Yeah. So we brought them back while we were there at our favorite beach, Turtle Bay. We're floating in the water. Baby beach. And I look at <laughs> look at Mouse over here and I tell him, Hey, Tully, we're either gonna do this yeah. or we're not gonna do this. What do you wanna do? And he said, We'll do it, man. We'll do it. So when we were there, we decided, okay, we're going to do it. And I was, yeah. I turned 50 last year. So that's what I told him. I said, I'm about to hit my, you know, 50th birthday. You know, either we're going to, we're going to rock and roll with this because it's, it's a lot of work to do it. We knew the challenges right. that were going to, going to come about if should we try to move forward and open up the spot. So it came back and we, and we had a commitment with Promenade Elementary, which we've always taken part of their, their luau. And they had reached out to us prior to us going to Hawaii and we committed to them, you know, post COVID. Now we're ready to go. We can do it. Um, that we'll show up and we'll do, we'll do your luau. It was the first time they were allowed to in a couple of years. We came back and we, and we did that luau and we decided, yeah, we are going to pull the trigger. We still had no plan. Yeah. We were still just kind of figuring out, kind of see. Right. There wasn't a restaurant that came before nothing, this. There wasn't a history of nothing. that. We had no yeah. deals in place. We had no potential locations. We were nothing. When I say nothing, is nothing of <laughs> nothing. We had a catering license, a business license, an LLC, but nothing else. We hadn't talked to realtors or anything. So while we were over there, a friend of my sister-in-law, her name is Carla. She's a realtor. She was actually looking at this location for a different concept of a business. No. Didn't really work for her. While they came to that luau, they showed us the video. We were like, okay, cool. That looks like a good option. Within a week, we're already in negotiations for the place. When Carla came over, showed us the video. You know, we saw the video and we looked at each other. We was like, this is the place. Like this felt it. Yeah, yeah, we it, did. yeah. it felt like the spot. When right, you see bro? It, yep, I go, yep. this is it. And then actually, when we went back, cleaned up, unloaded everything that night, we actually drove by here. We said, let's go check it out at night. Let's just go see. So we drove by here, looped around, saw it at night. Well, it was still open, too. They had like a smoker going in the back. They had a smoker going on That's in the back. That's right. It was they like a barbecue place. in the place, back huh? and someone was watching it. They were looking at us like we were weirdos. <laughs> they, 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 we were, we were just talking about here. whatever. But the next morning, we woke up and then we came to yeah. this location and we had said, let's go look at, let's go have lunch there. Yeah. Now, from an inside perspective, we looked at us at Man, this this feels good. It's an option. It was totally, totally different, different design. It was oh, the yeah, whole concept. Let's talk a little bit about that experience just walking in. I'm just trying to because obviously this is audio and people don't have we'll we'll post some pictures and stuff, but try to give people a painted picture. They walk in and what can they expect as maybe just from the front of the, the restaurant, then as they walk in, just a little bit about that experience. If you come in here, you see the, the busted up parking lot. It, it's a single standing. Just like Hawaii. Single I was going to say, it feels Hawaii. like the North Shore. It feels like the North Shore. You're right. You know, then that's kind of the vibe. So people have told us, oh, you need to fix the parking lot. And then when we no. come on the side, we're like, we're not fixing that. We're right. going to see it. some chicken. Just like that. Beautiful <laughs> imperfections to right, where you right. do feel like you're in part of an island and you know, Hawaii and whatnot. That's kind of the first thing you're going to see is you, you're you going to pull up on this in Norco off a of third in Hamner. Yeah. Once you come in, you're going to be embraced with Aloha with our, my lovely wife, manager, partner over here. And so then they we take brought care. Aloha to Norco. It hasn't even been a year yet. Were you like all in? I was Are all you? in. Okay. Oh yeah. It's their dream for many, many years for sure. So what about for you managing the day-to-day -day grind? How has some of those repeat customers you've seen and first timers like what are what are some impressions that people at least the feedback that you get we get a lot of lot of repeat customers they love it they love the aloha spirit they love island grinds food most of the chain island restaurants in socal in the mainland period they do what they do and we wish them aloha prosperity but what we felt is there was a huge void in the market for authenticity so we know a lot of our favorite spots back home, they got a lot on the menu. There's a lot going on. We knew coming into this, taking a business approach because our goal is to expand eventually. Uh, we can't do everything under the sun, but what we can do is take the staples and do them the best we can and then add those authentic things that we're missing. Like a lot of people, they come in, they ask for a Hawaiian plate. They want Lao Lao, all that. We yeah. haven't even served Lao Lao yet. We're almost seven months in. We haven't served it yet. There's a reason behind that because I can't get the fresh Luau 
the way that we feel it needs to be served. Everything needs to be served fresh. We cook fresh. Our customer base yeah. is, they've, they know that now. We've initially, the wait appeared to be long. We're probably about 15 minute turnaround, less than that, you know, most of the time. But when we get packed, it takes a little bit of time. We got a small kitchen and our staff works really hard to deliver that all. Hey, but we make experience. it work. Yeah, yeah they so make it work. It's now you got people who come day. in and they, you know, if they wait 20 minutes, they, it's not even a thing because they know everything was cooked fresh to order and they know when they came in and, and we greet them with aloha and a little bit of, hey, about 15, 20 minutes and they're all good. So I, myself, my cousin, my wife, my sister-in-law, none of us could find like a real Simon. So my wife is from Kauai, Homura Simon. That's the, sets the tone, right? Yeah. So we like, okay, we need to make a Simon that speaks that speaks to all the local people that have been around, or even the Simon when I used to go visit Lai when I was a kid, you know, the Simon that would come off the Manapua truck that's in the styrofoam 32 ounce cup with the kamaboko and some eggs and spam. You know, we knew just a, a simple broth with, with a good noodle and then the kamaboko, the egg or spam or the, the house made char siu, which is my man over here to my right, that's his char siu. So we, we, we hang our hat on that. The broth too is his recipe. Mm -hmm. So um, we're proud to serve that. And when we get local people that come in and they, and they eat it and, yeah. and, and then just the expression on their face, they'll usually, they'll take the time to set the chopsticks down and come up to the front and say, Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's the one it. I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. So we, we wanted to make sure. That. Yeah. yeah so. We wanted to make sure the broth and, yeah. and the chashu was right. And it hit, and, and it hit home. It's to it sparks the memories when we were young. I mean, it, basically North Shore plate lunch is like everything we'd like growing up when we were younger. That's, that's what we wanted to bring, you know, to, to Norco now. Right. Yeah. Why the North Shore? Because that's where our family comes from. So okay. to give you a little background on my cousin and I, um, yeah. we're first cousins. We Our family comes from Samoa, um, originally from Western Samoa, then migrated to American Samoa. And then we, then they migrated to Laie, Hawaii, where the same house is occupied by our first cousins. That They're still there. That's the house that my grandfather brought the, all them over to. Or my mom, his father, and the many other siblings you know, they attended Kohoku High School before uh, later on my, uh, migrating further into Los Angeles area. I think it was Carson. You know, we were in Carson at the time. And then that's where we came about. So we're part of the, the L.A. LA born and raised okay. Leatawa family line. Right. But our roots were in Hawaii. So our hub, when we would go back to visit the family, it went from being Samoa to Laia, Hawaii strong connection that yeah. we always kept with that like always going back for summers or uh even my sisters went to school over there and eventually ended up marrying local guys from from like and, and raising their families there so my parents went back over there and that's where they they were laid to rest so you know our the connection became stronger the bond was there so that's why I absolutely we had to represent that side. that's the only side we know right I remember seeing the the flags out here. I'm like, oh, North Shore, cool. Like, I didn't think much of it at, at first. Okay, is this like the real deal? Because you know, in this area, you're thinking like, because there's yeah, some right. other ones. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Like, that's is true. this real? Like, for real? Well, first when I walked in, oh, this feels right. You just feel it. I think Kimie was on or something like that. Like, you just feel it. It just felt right. It just felt okay. There's, yeah, the vibe there's, some, there's a vibe happening. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We're waiting, and my little girl, she's like. How long is it going to take? I'm like, they're making, like, I got like a sense. I saw the guy cooking. I'm like, no, I think this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be good. And she had it. But yeah, that, that's been my, my experience is coming in, you know, off the street, like figuring, okay, this is like the real deal. And what about the, the Hawaiian community in this area? What type of feedback have you guys received in that? Yeah. So since we've opened, we've had people come from San Diego. Oh, no way. Yeah. San Bernardino, like super far. They'll come and, you know, you never know. Hey, I know you, you know, <laughs> from so many years cousins, ago. Cousins, cousin. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> we, we run into all kinds of people, knows you and, you know, knows your yeah. cousin and knows it's all family. They all come here. And they're so happy that we, you know, there's a island place in the IE, like real right. kind, good food. Right. So it's funny. We 
We didn't really know there was a huge island community mm-hmm. in Norco. And then when we opened, all of a sudden we have customers it's coming in and say, oh, I just live behind the restaurant. I never knew this was here. Or, or, yeah. crazy. or yeah. uh, we had a young Eastville. gentleman come here. He walks here and he shows up and he's all tatted yeah. up and it's like, oh, I just live down the street. So those are those things to where it's a pleasant surprise it's to where all a meeting, of a sudden. It's become absolutely. somewhat of a meeting place for a lot of the islanders. Oh, here, big time. As well as the locals. So we're like, yeah. Like we gotta, we gotta say something about Norco. So oh, a lot thanks. of people said, "Why Norco? Why Norco?" Yeah, One, because yeah. that's the spot we found, and <laughs> it was the spot that works. We live right yeah. here in Corona, but uh-huh. the Norco community. We were told when we came in, a lot of people said, "If you're not from Norco, man, you're not gonna make it." Mm. And we were like, "Well, we're committed, you know, so we're gonna go." Undeniable support in the area where they support. They're like, oh, you're in Norco? We support our own. And it's great to see, especially in the small business, restaurant. Yeah. Oh, small business. Yeah. And then business, us, being, yeah. time. us being Polynesian, too. You know, we got, we saw more, but we have Tongan mem- family member, Hawaiian, and then Mexican. You know, everybody married into the family. And yeah. it just extends out. So the, the extended yeah. family, the word gets out. Our family plugs us like nobody's business, man. Like, we run into so many people that are either from Hawaii, have lived in Hawaii. Hawaii experiences just or back. just in love with the Aloha yeah. Yeah. and they, they, they come in and they, they want to talk stories with right. us and we, we, we're happy. To <laughs> There's do some it, customers so. that come in on, you know, at the beginning on Sundays and, and they go to Hawaii all the time and, and they come in and they just want to just hang out and it's just <laughs> yeah. great to see. Feel the vibe. Feel the vibe. And they, they want their, their, their fix for the week. Yeah. Yeah. I love that moment you were sharing earlier, just about like, are we going to do this or are we not? I think a lot of those moments, sometimes we miss. And to like hear you guys actually do it is really inspiring. The way it started is when we used to cook for our families. So we were like, Damon and Dwayne, can you guys cook? And cooking more and more and more for all the... And then in 2014, I had a... Uh, Manaya, the oldest, had a baby. And then she's diagnosed with a congenital heart defect. Basically, she was in Children's Hospital. Basically, what it is that the arteries that feed the heart... They were inverted, reversed. Huh. So, anyways, so we were in China. I know I'm t- He was living in the hospital. Wow. It was, I bet, and, yeah. and she had three open heart surgeries before she was even, what, a year old? So, yeah. Even with that, even with the, the challenges he was facing, I even told him, Uso, you don't have to come. We'll take care of it. In our first gig, we thought it was like, Holy crap, man! We're investing in two boxes, two whole boxes of chicken. Are we gonna make yeah, our we money bought, back? We, we were like, we're you like know, sitting so, out going, eighty pounds, man. 80 Do you really think eighty pounds is gonna be enough? But those are those yeah. learnings from the beginning to now, and we we blew it out. So we have pictures of how it started, and then now when we're talking about it, we're looking. I look yeah, at Dwayne, look at you, like, I look at now. But we put but, our plate lunch together. We sold out in two hours. But he was there. That's was the there. whole thing. He showed up. And this is her right here. Mata. I mean, Manaya, come. Say, say, say girl. aloha to everybody. Aloha. And then she's, a, she's a li- alive and well. She's alive and well. So yes. It, it was like after that moment, we were like, all right, we're on to something. You know what I mean? We, we always were passionate about what we did. We knew what yeah. we do. We're not like cocky guys, but we're confident. In it. You know, we, yeah. I don't, I don't cook French food. I don't cook Italian food. I can do Samoan food, Tongan food, Hawaiian food. That's what I do. We don't do fusion stuff. You know what I mean? People have said, you need to fuse this. And I was like, you know, I'll leave the fusion to the fusion guys. You know, we just, we keep it simple, man. Let's talk a little bit about what, maybe what a Hawaiian plate lunch is traditionally. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So speaking of plate lunch, even the, the verbiage of plate lunch, if you look at the banners out in the front, we have now we have stuff that says Hawaiian barbecue. That was because everybody thought this place was like uh, a nail uh, place or something. They thought it was a boutique. Yeah, nobody <laughs> knew what a plate lunch, but, but anybody from Hawaii or anybody that knows, they know what a plate lunch is. A plate lunch is a place, that's how food is served, whether it's for lunch, breakfast, or dinner. And it's a, and it's pretty simple. Two scoops of rice, mac, and whatever the protein is. Yeah, protein, so, mac, and two scoops of rice. And man. that's and local style. Mac is that. ridiculous. But don't get Here. more local style. And then it's if ridiculous. you have a plate so lunch good. or whack mac, <laughs> take it back because it's no good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if we can go and sit back and there's customers that come here. Brings them home for a moment, remembering home oh, yeah, or the yeah. islands for that particular time, either lunch or break or whatever it may be. 
that was the whole idea and our part of it, at least. Of course, we had to offer something that was synonymous with the North Shore, the garlic shrimp. Right. So we've eaten garlic shrimp all over the place. You know, Giovanni showed up to the North Shore back in the, in the mid 90s. Uh, actually, one of my one of our nephews used to work on that truck back in the days too. But I know I've always loved Giovanni, so that's like we got to do a good garlic shrimp. And then there's the other places down the road, Romy's, Fumi's, all those other places. Tried them all. So what we wanted to do is like, all right, let's take the garlic shrimp concept, but let's do it the way we wanted to do it. You Absolutely. Know, let's lose a li- you, let's use a little bit bigger of a shrimp. Let's use the sixteen to twenty one count six, seven pieces with the weight on it. The way we do it is we, you know, we make the batter, we give it a little bit of a crust. So it's not, it's not like it's, uh, I want to say like soupy. So a lot of times when you eat that, a lot of garlic shrimp, sometimes it's just a straight raw looking shrimp and they give you a sauce to dip it in. And sometimes it's just smothered in a very thick and and buttery and oily uh, type of sauce. We wanted to kind of find the happy medium. So we wanted to get the shrimp to where we got a nice crust on it. You, know, you, you see all I'm talking about yeah, it, but yeah, we're yeah. passionate about the food. We wanted the garlic has to be hand chopped. We're not using any pre-minced garlic. It has to be hand chopped. So you see those different irregularities in the sizing. And, and then we just, we hit it with a nice quality olive oil and butter. And then we get the garlic in there and then we drop those shrimp, flip them and smack them with the lemon on the way out, you know, fresh and, lemon. Yeah. Fresh lemon. And then we, uh, then we drizzle that, you know, just like a lot of the garlic shrimp, you got, you want that garlicky buttery right. loveliness on top of your rice too. And with a lemon wedge and out it goes, you know, so we, we wanted to make sure that we competed with that. I, yeah. you know, of course I'm a fan of ours, you know, that's, right. that's, I'm always going to push ours. I love ours, but I love to experience everything. I, we love to see everybody prosper and, and, and keep doing their thing. So Absolutely. A, a local mocha was another one. We couldn't get a good local mocha to save our lives around here. So we start with like a, a brown gravy base and then we add our little special touches to it. So, yeah. so it becomes our own little North Shore brand. That's why we like to express it now to share our North Shore NSPL, North Shore plate lunch brand of Hawaiian food. So. All right, it is that time. It is time for Any Kind News. And on today's Any Kind News, we got Damon is going to do it for us. All right, man, go ahead and take it away. On this edition, Any Kind News, Sea Life Park on Oahu is revamped and named its Luau Experience as a Aloha Kai Luau. The updated event, held Sundays through Fridays at Makapu Meadows, offers stunning ocean views through the east side of Oahu. The Aloha Kai Luau has expanded its cultural activities and performances with demonstrations as a ceremony presentation around the emu, where the Kalua pork is cooked. All activities include coconut weaving, coconut tree climbing, hula, the Samoan fire knife dancing. The menu features Kalua pork, teriyaki chicken, fish, chow mein noodles, and assorted cakes for dessert, while the bar offers Mai Tais, my favorite, beer, wine, and soft drinks. Due to the high demand of the Aloha Kai Luau, the Sea Life Park, it is essential to book well in advance. During the peak summer months, the event can sell out for weeks or even months ahead of time. Early booking ensures not only the best seating, but also the most competitive pricing. Thanks, Damon. Let's go ahead and head back into our conversation with the team at North Shore Plate Lunch. Have you guys been able to pause or zoom out like what's next or like dreaming again or it's funny how you brought that up we 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 have our weekly meetings and then it came up and says hey we need to start we have our actions key actions that we're doing for future as far as planning out for additional you know for another location right now we're just thinking about what's the right where's the right yeah. place yeah. to be timing yeah. timing wise but but most of our location we'd love this unique spot we'd like to find another unique spot maybe close by the beach but we don't really know where we're going to land but the, the whole thing is to yeah. get it moving yeah and, and start investing the time to to plan to for the second location yeah and not lose not lose any because we want to stay consistent with right. the vibe you know what i mean that You're overall right. vibe has to stay it's got to stay organic and natural which i think is that's just already embedded in who we are anything yeah. we do is going to be like that i think so but um they yeah, the plan would be 
you know, in the next 10 years to have 20 of them out here, SoCal, right. Arizona, Nevada. Um, Nevada is a unique market because that's the ninth island. You always feel like you have one step in Hawaii in Nevada. You know, there's a lot of spots to go eat. But um, with our concept, I think we can compete for some of the market share over there too. Yeah. Um, but right now, SoCal being our home, right? That's where that's where our focus is. This Logistic was the initial wise, one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So now, when we're looking at spring and summer for this year, we're going to partake in a bunch of events we got pifa coming up so this is this is something new and we're excited yeah, this is wonderful that we're going to tap into because we tried last year we had to close the restaurant to do pifa oh, and right. then this time we're going to stay open yeah and then and then do the the additional yeah, events we, mind we you we got a both, ton of so, catering yeah. and great things that are happening for us it's been great man there's this plaque that we've been looking at it hangs in the restaurant. It's, we're looking at it right now. It's a real plaque from the state of Hawaii House of Representatives. It says, the House of Representatives of the state of Hawaii hereby presents a certificate to North Shore Plate Lunch for the grand opening of their new restaurant in Norco, California. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing because that would take a little bit, but I'm going to post a picture of it. Guys, maybe if you could just summarize what this plaque is, what it means, and why is it important? Definitely. Uh something that we hold very dear to our hearts it was uh, uh we'd have to i gotta mention my sister-in-law and my and my brother junior who presented this to us on our opening day october 1st 2022 and uh, we were not aware about this document at all and what it is you know you'll see the picture but what it is is actually a signed document an official document from the house of representatives of the state of hawaii basically endorsing us for what we do and kind of spreading the aloha it was very touching i don't even know how they did it who they know they must know some people in high places but junior and mata we love you guys and thank you guys very much you don't even realize how much we thank you for this uh, certificate and how how it makes us feel because it just lets us know that we're you know we're doing the right thing you know we're kind of it even says it on here value served in an environment of aloha now and therefore so that kind of speaks loudly for us that uh, absolutely we're able to do this and uh, i've never seen one in another local restaurant off the island uh, not even in the island actually so uh, this is something we're extremely proud of extremely humbled by first and foremost but it it actually acknowledges like how we started our whole cooking journey this was just a, a fantastic honor to get presented this by my sister-in-law mata matalasi you know we wanted to go and take a few moments and to talk about it briefly and then just to go and, and and show most importantly we want to convey the message of how grateful we are and to where we've been both everybody's been working great to help validate this and it's just to be recognized it's just been a true blessing so other than that just very very grateful and honored for this especially to have it posted we look at that every day and it just keeps us grounded you know and then it keeps us uh like we i said earlier in a ton of times is we're just trying to get better every every single day this is our badge of honor right here and we promise to the state of hawaii the people of hawaii we will do anything and everything we can to always represent to the fullest, especially our North Shore Ainga, man, our Agreed. family, man. Agreed. We got we got blood in the soil in Hawaii, so it's going to be a part of our life, part of our heart. So, Anybody who comes on the podcast, I love to ask this question. Someone's traveling to Hawaii maybe for the first time. What are maybe some spots? Let's talk about North Shore, Oahu. What are some spots people want to make sure they, they head up on their travels? Oh, for sure, man. I, you know, of course, I got to always go back to my default, uh, Laie, Hawaii. You yeah. know, that's like, that's where the uh, the LDS temple's at, the BYU Hawaii's there, the Polynesian Cultural Center, uh, Hukilau Beach, which is, you know, go back to old school Hawaii, right, going right. to the Hukilau. That's the beach right. they're talking about. Yeah. We're fortunate enough to have family roots from there, you know, and then in Hawaii and that little town, Laie, is it's very old school culture, you know, like the Samoan presence, the Tongan presence, the Hawaiian presence is, is still very strong. So it's like uh, my recommendation is always go hit the North Shore. Uh, there's a luau that's over there called Toa Luau. That's a friend of ours, too. He, oh, okay. he started a luau and it's over there in Waimea Valley. Waimea Valley, when we used to visit as kids, we used to be able to go back there and swim in the river, jump off the cliff. 
and then they shut it down. You know, if you go in, there's still like the same three families, old Hawaiian families that own the their three houses. I think one of them is like sold to, to someone else, but there's still two two families that have resided there from back in the days. When you go to this luau, to a luau, you're going to think like, oh, where is this place? Because it almost turns in almost like a reserve. Once you get back there and they have this beautiful setup, they give you authentic, authentic experience with the... Uh, they make a umu in front of you. But while the umu is being made, the beginning of the experience, you walk over there and they're peeling, they're peeling taro, husking coconuts, peeling bananas, and all that food that they're, that they're making that you're like jumping in and experience husking, husking and then grating the coconuts so you, they can make palusami and make the fresh pepita. You get to experience it being made. Then they circle everybody up and then they show when they uncover the umu and they start bringing that out. So you're like, uh, you're experiencing authentic deal. And then after wonderful, wonderful show representation of all the islands, Samoa, Tonga, Tahiti, New Zealand. And then the MC, the MC is awesome. When I got to go back there, my niece, who, our niece, is yeah. one of my sister's kids uh, and my nephew, them, they dance in there. So we were able to go in and, oh, cool. and watch them dance and do their show. But it's, it's so awesome. It's like, it's a long experience. It's like you plan for the day. And if you're staying in town, you're going to have to drive all the way around the island to the North Shore to Waimea Valley. But it's worth it. You know, Toa Luau, that's my recommendation when yours. you go there. The North Shore Plate Lunch was is came about from many of the food places over there. Right in that area. So when you go to, when you go up over there, you want a Samoan plate, you go hit Masa's Market over there in Haula. Man, we used to get our, our poke from Tamura. Remember, we would load up. You know, we'd, Tamura poke. we'd load up our, our Heinekens and our poke and, and go for a drive. <laughs> forget then, about uh, it. Yeah, forget about <laughs> it. For me, like if you say, go to, if you're going to go to Wahoo, I say North Shore. But lately for me is that go to Turtle Bay. Oh, yeah. There's a public beach section. There's Baby Beach. That's been my tranquility. That's where the that's conversation where that's where that's yeah, that's what you guys That said. is like, I'm good when yeah. I go there. That's the peace over there. That's, that's the, the spot. Place. That is, for me, the spot. I just, I've grown to love it. Now the kids are older, just to sit back and yeah. the calm water and, oh, and just, that's a piece of heaven right there. Don't forget, Dwayne. You gotta give you, you gotta give a shout out to the the Royal Hawaiian. You know, you, we, yeah, yeah. if you're gonna go Waikiki, oh uh, yeah, we stay at Royal Hawaiian. But yeah. you gotta go by the bar. Sam. You gotta go see Sam over there. <laughs> Sam? Sam the man. He, he, what's up. he, puts he the will make you. The, he may make you a mai tai with a <laughs> floater yeah. that'll forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Those things that's are strong, the, man. Yeah. You better be careful. Sam, it's a creeper. <laughs> if you're out there and you're mean, give us a call. <laughs> Turtle Bay is funny because we spent so many, we had so many experiences going over there. Like, I think it was during my mom's funeral back in 2012. Our family went back there and we were staying over there. And I went swimming and I had goggles and I went into the rock that's out there and I see yeah. sea urchins all over that thing. So the next, <laughs> the, like the very next day, my sister came with her kids, grabbed a bunch of butter knives and goggles and fins. <laughs> and we we had the little bag that you put the fins in and yeah. we went out there and we started bopping those sea urchins off. And we're walking out of the water with a bag full of sea urchins and every all the tourist people were looking at us like we're crazy. Like, <laughs> you can fish over here. Like, <laughs> Hey, that's a lot of that's a lot of money saved right there. Those sea urchins are expensive. What's your no. what's your favorite spot out there in Waikiki to eat? In Waikiki? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, if we're in Waikiki, there's something magical about that about that spot, like at the Royal Island Vintage. Where's that at? It's right next to the it's in the the center there, the Royal restaurant? Hawaiian Center. But it's like a coffee spot, but they have this Island Vintage wine. Oh really? And the food there is so good. You you like overlook the courtyard area of is the Is that Royal. the one that's out and there's two stories where yeah, all yeah, those yeah. all the restaurants are there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That place is pretty good. Just Duke, to go there. Duke's on the bottom and what's the one on the top? Got another name, but I think they still own it. I think Duke's Duke, not who it. Does. Um Hula yeah. Grill. Yeah. I like Hula Grill too. Yeah. What's the one where they had the plate lunch in the box where we would normally go, and then now we haven't gone in a oh, minute? Oh, it's like a, it's like a pe rainbows. Rainbows. Okay, yeah, rainbows yeah. was my spot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, back in the, the day, you'd say, plate. damn it, where's yeah. your spot? Yeah. Rainbows. That was it for me. Well, guys, thank you so much again for your time and bringing the islands here in SoCal. 
appreciate you guys and what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, brother. For, yeah. Thank you for you. having Absolutely. us. Yeah. And, uh, oh, you know, it's always, it's, it's been a great pleasure just to be a part of this. Your pipeline to original island, island grinds. Well, I just want to say a big mahalo to the team over at North Shore Plate Lunch and for their time and hospitality and for doing what they're doing in the heart of Southern California and representing Hawaii. And I just want to say thank you so much. So for me, it was a good reminder to even know if you're not on the island and maybe you're dreaming of or visiting Hawaii again soon, visiting local business like North Shore Plate Lunch. One, it kind of transports you back to the islands and just get the good vibes and the aloha and the food. But it also goes to supporting local, and that is super important wherever you're at in your community, supporting local. And, and if you love Hawaii, supporting local Hawaiian businesses is equally important. So thanks so much again for joining me on this special episode and to find everything that we talked about, you can go to Hawaii's best travel.com slash episode 84. That's eight four. And until next time, friends, be well. Aloha. Mahalo for listening to this episode of Hawaii's Best. To stay up to date on future episodes, please subscribe and visit us at Hawaii's Best Travel.com. 